July 9th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, 2 Corinthians chapter 4 from the New Testament. Therefore, since we have this ministry just as God has shown us mercy, we do not become discouraged, but we have rejected shameful hidden deeds, not behaving with deceptiveness or distorting the word of God, but by open proclamation of the truth, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience before God. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled only to those who are perishing, among whom the God of this age has blinded the minds of those who do not believe, so they would not see the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not proclaim ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord and ourselves as your slaves for Jesus' sake. For God, who said, Let light shine out of the darkness, is the one who shined in our hearts to give us the light of the glorious knowledge of God in the face of Christ. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so that the extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are experiencing trouble on every side, but are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are persecuted, but not abandoned. We are knocked down, but not destroyed. Always carrying around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our body. For we who are alive are constantly being handed over to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our mortal body. As a result, death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. But since we have the same spirit of faith as that shown in what has been written, I believe, therefore I spoke, we also believe, therefore we also speak. We do so because we know that the one who raised up Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. For all these things are for your sake so that the grace that is including more and more people may cause thanksgiving to increase to the glory of God. Therefore, we do not despair, but even if our physical body is wearing away, our inner person is being renewed day by day. For our momentary light suffering is produced for us an eternal weight of glory far beyond all comparison, because we are not looking at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. God, when Paul is talking in verse 2 about we have rejected shameful hidden deeds, not behaving with deceptiveness or distorting the word of God, but by open proclamation of the truth, we commend ourselves to everyone's conscience before God. I think about that one a lot, especially working through DVB daily video Bible and being in in your word even more than ever that some of the some of the books out there and some of the preachers and some of the pastors or, or whoever people listen to I think sometimes people pay too close of attention to the show and don't pay close enough attention to your word during the show. You know, some people have a great way with words or up on stage, great st stage presence. And as one of my friends put it, it makes me feel good to go to church. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. Makes me feel good to go to church. And the more I study your word, the more I'm just adamant against false prophets people who are pastors and teachers who aren't teaching the factual word, I become more and more adamant and clear about what your word says, what it means. Boy, it, it definitely doesn't, doesn't mean that I know hardly anything, but I know the more I learn, the more I want it to be so incredibly accurate. And I want people to truly understand what you're saying, um, especially in the gospel, as well as all the other secondary doctrines. And sometimes I think we miss that by the dog and pony show that, that some people put on in order to get the word across. And God, I just give you 
I give you all praise and all honor that through this this ministry that this isn't happening that it is purely solely your word that excites people that our humbleness and desire to do what pleases you to do your will that it truly does please you and that you continue to bless daily video Bible as well as every other true ministry out there and people who are speaking about the true Word of God God, I, I pray for all the people right now who aren't speaking the true word of God, that it's more about them and how fellow humans perceive them, or maybe it's about money to them. God, I just pray that who you really are would just shine into their light, that you would work on their heart and allow that talent and gift that you gave them to be used for good and not used to lead people away. God, I pray that all the words that I'm speaking... Um, in these prayer devotions at the end are exactly what you want me to say that I don't deviate one iota away from what is the truth and what you're trying to tell people please put it upon my heart to say everything that you need to be said in this ministry to whoever is is listening that particular day God I know you are truth I know you are light please help shine both of those into our lives into our hearts so that we know what the true words are that you spoke to us so we can live our life for you. In your son's name I pray, amen.